This type of video format is definitely not uncommon. I'm sure you've seen many channels do various types of countdowns of disturbing things that they come across on the internet. However, there's many things that I come across that I would love to do a video about, but not everything is worth talking about for a half an hour, or there's just not enough information about whatever that topic may be. With that being said, I decided to compile a few strange and outright disturbing things relating to the internet. Let's go. The North Tower of the World Trade Center housed a unique restaurant at the pinnacle of the skyscraper, spanning the 106 and 107 floors. This establishment, known as Windows on the World, met a tragic fate during the 9-11 attacks, resulting in the loss of over 70 employees and the utter destruction of both the restaurant and the entire World Trade Center complex. But as a haunting layer to the history of Windows on the World is its website. A visit through the Wayback Machine unveils a poignant time capsule showcasing a series of screenshots captured before and after the catastrophic event of 9-11. Exploring these snapshots provides a profound glimpse into the tragic contrast between the world before and after the fateful day. Definitely worth checking out if you're interested in 9-11 related history. In September of 2020, a man by the name of Tamir Kitan began to come under attack by the one and only Emma Watson. Tamir claims to have invited a parasitic entity after attempting to befriend Emma Watson. I want to share with everyone why Emma Watson has been such a big problem for me and why I dislike them so much. I say them because they are a group of women using the same made-up identity. The short story is that they apparently belong to some sort of international crime organization. What I had in mind was building a friendship by doing kind actions like Stephen Covey's principle of making emotional deposits toward, towards the person from which a friendship is built. What I happened to invite into my life by doing those actions is some sort of parasitic entity that attacks my body on behalf of the Watsons. He used his skills learned by taking advice from Stephen Covey, an American educator and writer. He tried to use kind actions that he describes as emotional deposits, essentially just trying to force his way into her life and befriending her. Tamir isn't the most famous guy out there, but apparently he didn't go unnoticed. It causes him excruciating pain, particularly in his feet and legs. His computer being hacked isn't uncommon either, and it even ruins his erections. His words, not mine. That's just the gist of his story. He has posted over 3,000 plus videos since joining YouTube in September of 2020. He uploads constantly and only continues to worsen. Tamir states that he will kill any woman that this organization involving Emma Watson sends to him, specifying that he will use a dumbbell from his house to execute said woman. Tamir continues to upload to this day, mentally spiraling. Only time can tell what will come of his situation. Any woman that the organization sends, I will beat up until her death. I will grab a metallic dumbbell from my house and I will use it to beat her up as badly as possible, breaking all the bones in her body until that bitch dies. This is a channel posting videos to advertise a vast number of exotic animals they have for sale. The channel has yet to upload once again, but it has 5 years worth of videos, with over 8.5 thousand of them. One video that stands out appears to be of a person showing off the compound in which they house these animals. It's eerie to think that these animals might be treated illegally.
BlueBuddies.com has got to be one of the oldest websites dedicated to everything Smurf related. The oldest Wayback Machine archive of the site goes all the way back to 2003. Archives of the webpage state that the website has been around since 1998. What puts this website on the list are some of the forum posts, particularly by the user Smurf in Hand, back in 2008 who wrote a long and dedicated fanfiction of humans physically and sexually abusing Smurfs. There of course are much more disturbing fanfictions on the internet that involve an endless amount of degeneracy like this. Due to the obscurity and how long that this website has been around makes it worthy to be acknowledged. A website discovered through the Internet Mystery subreddit details an extremely unnerving incident that occurred in the Bronx. It involves a 23-year-old man decapitating his own mother and posing for a selfie with her severed head. The story unfolded way back in February of 2013. What's disturbing is the article detailing the crime. The website appears to be partially in Vietnamese, but this isn't how you'd expect anyone to cover an event like this rather gleefully. There is a relatively simple explanation for this. It's likely AI written for straight up link farming. Even if that's the case, it's still very weird. The picture of a son holding his mom head no blur picture is a powerful symbol of love and affection. It captures a tender moment between a mother and her child, showcasing the deep bond they share. This image evokes a strong emotional response and resonates with people from all walks of life. The subject of the photograph, a son holding his mom head no blur picture, establishes intense eye contact with the viewer. This gaze creates a strong sense of connection, making the viewer feel as though they are a part of the moment captured in the picture. It draws us in and evokes a range of emotions, from tenderness and love to vulnerability and trust. Little is known about this final video, yet it unequivocally stands out as the most troubling segment. Discussing this subject on YouTube is difficult due to its inherently conspiratorial nature. Adrenochrome, a chemical compound stemming from the oxidation of adrenaline. Adrenochrome has gained notoriety through conspiracy theories, suggesting that influential figures clandestinely harvest it from those involved in human trafficking. The claim persists that adrenochrome serves as an elusive elixir of youth, purportedly bestowing significant life-prolonging benefits. From the limited information I managed to uncover, this video that I found through Twitter seemingly captures an absolutely horrific scene. An unidentified man is tormenting a restrained, unclothed woman in a grassy setting, using a Bunsen burner and allegedly extracting adrenochrome. It's crudely recorded off of someone's iPhone, featuring text at the top of the screen alluding to Jeffrey Epstein's name. This could easily just be some depraved shock video with a completely different story behind it, or it's just fake altogether. Regardless, the unsettling nature of the video remains. Well, that's the end of the list. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for all my latest updates. You can email me at IamSirZach at gmail.com if you have any future suggestions for videos, or you can just tweet at me. That works too. Make sure to subscribe to the Patreon, and definitely go check out Rob's media. I thank him for joining me on this list. I think that's about it. Goodbye for now.